just take movement to a whole nother level and I incorporate all styles, all genres. With my music, I'm trying to uplift, inspire, motivate, bring creativity back to hip hop. That's my goal. I think it's gonna be a, a really cool, weird mix of a collaboration. We're gonna really shock people and wake people up. I think it's gonna be magical. He's rapping and I'm trying to keep up. That mix is gonna be crazy. My name is Day Storm Power, and I am a rapaholic. My name is Jonathan Legacy Perez. I dance, I love creating, and I love just being. I was born in New York City. I moved to Miami. It was the, it was the ghetto, very drug-based slash violent. I almost got kidnapped when I was young. <clears throat> very tough. Growing up in Baltimore, it was eight of us and my mother, and we were in a one-bedroom apartment. You know, I lost a lot of friends uh, because of drugs and because of gangsters. When you see a lot of things that we saw, like fights and this gunshots and dead, you know, bodies, and we've seen a lot. Yes, I, I loved school and I wanted to accomplish, finish it, but when I had a passion for something, which was this and was so great, um, I, I couldn't let it go. I was living in New York and I got evicted. I bought tinted windows for my car. I had this old beat up Eclipse, a 92 Eclipse. And I bought a keyboard and I would, uh, you know, sing in the subway systems and rap in the subway systems to make money so that I can survive and live in my car. My mother would call when I was in New York. How's my baby doing? You doing all right? And I'm like, yeah, mom, I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm good. You know, like I would just make up something to make her proud so she could know that things were going down so she can have, you know, a torch to hold on to because I was the one that made it out. I was more afraid of failure. Then that's the biggest fear. You know, it's like you don't want to fail. I remember in 2010, I did a video twice a week, a full music video. So I would just do the entire video. I would stay 16 hours a day, spend 16 hours every day, seven days a week, sleep four hours a day, didn't worry about eating, didn't worry about working on anything, and just do it every day for almost a year. We gotta be in LA. That's where it's at. Picked up, left. We slept in Tallahassee, street performed in New Orleans and uh, entered LA four days later. I had $240 in my pocket, just that and a whole lot of ambition. Dancers are a channel of the gods. You know, some people know how to do tricks, some people know how to do stunts, and that's amazing and appealing for the, for the eye, but when you watch somebody come out of their shell and not care about anything and connect to the rhythms and um, it's funny I get emotional because it's so like it, uh, because I feel what I say because I feel what I what I do you know what I mean when I'm when I'm dancing um, it's like it's like you take all the anger that you've ever had you take all, everything that you've had from your childhood you take um, you know your daily activities what whatever makes you feel a certain way and uh, you put it into your movement. You, you, you express yourself. Music and movement is synonymous. Because when you think of music, you think of movement. When you think of movement, you think of music. There's no rules in that dance. There's no rules in how you're listening to the music, the ins and outs, the cuts, the sound, the, the, the silences. When you connect to all these things that are sounding and you're trying to move your body to shape it, it's incredible. All I know is that when I'm in the moment, I'm just feeling and I'm being and I'm present. What's up, world? <laughs> Daystorm. Uh, I've never met Daystorm, although I feel like I know him through his videos. This is the life of a superhero. Stay fly everywhere that we go. Guy's got 147,082,000 and like 64 
channel views. He's got a million subscribers. He's he's phenomenal. He does many things, many things. <laughs> Legacy is this awesome dancer. He does stuff that I will never be able to do and I can't physically do with my body. He's one of the best dancers in the world, I would say. I can't wait to actually work with him to see what he does to the, the action music that I have. You know, when you meet somebody, first impressions are everything, and I, I really didn't know what was gonna happen. What's up, man? <laughs> Nothing, man. Come around. Just, oh. No, I ain't going around. I ain't going around. <laughs> What's up, brother? What I expect it to be unique. I expect um, him to bring his A game. I'm gonna bring mine. <laughs> All right, talk to me, man. No, I feel like I'll... I've known you for like 50 years. When yeah. we first met, we, we were like, okay, cool, let's, let's, let's figure it out. How this collaboration is gonna work out and, and what we need to do in order to make it successful. Stop. I love that. I was working on track. Okay. It's actually kind of inspiring. Can we play it? Um, absolutely. Let's do it. Let's rock it. We came in, we listened to the track. From there, we were trying to find how we were going to interpret to the people, and I think that was the hardest part. It looks like, yes, story of anyone who came before me, and I'd just be talking like low like I that. I like that, I like yeah. that. And then I'll just build up. You know, you put the egos aside, and it's like right by each other, and you're, you're projecting passion, you're projecting love, the love that you have for whatever it is that you do. It's really, it's really like passionate in detail. It feels yeah. like, it feels like a, it's like a grand entrance. It was one idea where I was going to be the puppet master. I'm like a reflection of you. Okay. So I don't know if maybe we don't have to interact with each other or maybe we do. So I'm telling a story, you'll just be acting out what yeah, I'm saying like, I don't much. know. For right now, just try to, try to throw gestures at me, like if it was your raps or your words. It's insane. I've been training. So I just keep throwing it at you? Yes. Yeah, like move my, move me. Bam, bam. Oh, okay. Yo, intense saying it. I've been training. The puppeteer is coming from, from my lyrics. So basically, he, I'll shoot a lyric out. Like if I was to use the word glory, he would, he would interpret the word glory. As the, as the puppeteer, I would, I would control whatever he does. So I would say the words and then move forward and he would kind of react to it. Go individual body parts. Boom, hit the legs. For me, it was a, it, it, it's a little scary. You know how b-boy, break boy started? I'm b-boying in this. Uh, a b-boy comes from the terminology break boy, which is breaking on the break of the record. The break of the record is never more than eight eight counts. Uh, an excerpt of 150% energy constantly, and then you chill. This piece that I'm jumping into is about two minutes and 30 seconds. I'm afraid that I'm afraid that I'm not gonna have enough lungs to, to continue the song. I've been training, blood, sweat, and tears. You can see my skin's woo. Oh man. I like pressure, man. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I love the pressure is what makes me work harder. I love when when there's doubt because then you get to prove prove it. You know, just experience in life make you say, okay, you doubt it. Here we go. This is what you're gonna take. I don't think it's pressure. I think it's more excitement. I think it, it's a thrill. I am your fear. Right. And, and eventually I start to control You're confronting it. your fear. When he starts to create this song, I know that he's gonna create from a place of his life, of his obstacles, his pain, his frustration, his anger, which everybody in the world can relate to. My mother, the person to me, was my best friend. She didn't care, she never cared about herself. She would put the world first. She was just a very loving person. But I lost my mother to cancer in 2008. And when I did, it just gave me strength. And I said, I'm gonna use this as inspiration. When I create my dance to his movement, in my consciousness, I am going to have my pain, my frustration, my anger, my insecurities. So I think together, throughout the whole piece, it's gonna be an up and down adventure where he actually feels he has to tell everybody his life story in two minutes and 40 seconds and I have to show everybody in those two minutes and 40 seconds what my life story is through movement. Together, we conquer the whole, like, the whole environment. This becomes a, and becomes it becomes a one. Right. Yes, yeah. we unify, like, absolutely unify. It's an emotional piece and it climbs. You will feel passion, you will feel triumph, you will feel failure, you will feel excitement, you will feel saddened. When people see this video, I hope people say, I hope they don't say anything, I hope they just push repeat.
Let me be alert real quick. Let me just see if I can um. Let me let me let me see if I can get up to this to the back. Yeah. Cool. So it's like you kind of you're never like this to each other. Oh, like this. Okay. So when you that's why it's like nice. Scene 305, take one, a camera mark. Set. I can no longer control it. It seemed to have taken over my mind, body, and soul. And I'm not sure I want to go back. Yo. Yes, this here's a story for everyone who came before me. And just know that I came much less for the fame and more for the glory. And while the world may ignore me, my legs reassure me. Uh, that if I sleep with it, keep with it, eat with it, eventually the beat's gonna call me. Uh, and I tried to ignore it. Uh, but when it got to the chorus, ah, uh, it was screaming my name like a fiend in my veins, and I just needed more of it, ah, uh, and I tried to let go of it, why, is it consuming my world like a boy who met a girl, first time in love, once your heart's in it, it's a hell of a drug, it's all that I know, the pressure is on me, friends try to stop me, folks try to warn me, part of me, but it's part of me, but it's part of me, but it's part of me, I said part of me, but it's part of me, but it's part of me, said it becomes part of me, said part of me, but I'm gonna be, all that I Seen it. I've been training, blood, sweat, and tears, you can see my skin training, and I've accepted this to be my passion, the floor is the canvas, the rhythm is the craftsman, and now my circle's getting smaller, cause nobody believed when I said it was my calling, heard it ringing and I answered it, took it out under my wing and then I pampered it, but then, ah, uh, struggle came along, and I failed again, this time I'm gonna be strong, but I failed again, oh, oh, oh. I just wanna grow, 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 uh, yeah Every single moment in time, there's at least one man smiling Long as my feet are attached, then I can walk more miles And if I'm not fit for your land, I will be my own island yes. I will make my own noise, I will be my own silence oh. Once the rhythm's inside, you will see me rise, I'm no longer hiding Touch the heavens above, I'll call it love and you'll call it violence Straight from the top of my lungs, history is made and I'm gonna write it Generations from now, they'll see what I found and they will recite it Yeah, that love can take you all the way Yeah, that love can take you all the way Yeah, that love can take you all the way Yeah, that love can take you all the way Love happened out there. It was amazing. I put my soul, my heart, everything on the, on the floor, on the stage, and I felt the same from Day Storm as well. From point A to Z, I, was, I felt like he was with me the whole time. It's was like, yeah, where you at? My, my soul was poured out on that stage, so great feeling. My mom would have been dancing in the, in the hour one. She was like, get out of my way. I'm going to be in the middle. She would have been there. She would have she tried to get on stage. The security would have had to tackle her because she, she would have been proud, definitely.